Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here. I'm back with a new video. This time I'll be showing you how to save your SHSH files straight to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on any firmware. And to do this, we will be using a program called ISHSH, -It, which is free in Cydia. And basically, it saves your SHSH files and it allows you to email them to yourself. Now, Cydia and Tiny Umbrella do do this, but this is just a way faster way to do this and it's more convenient. And I'll be showing you what to do with the blobs once you've got them saved and emailed to yourself. So go ahead and download this program and open it up. And I just want to say an SHSH file is a little packet of information that allows you to actually um, send information to Cydia so you can downgrade your device in the future. And without them, you cannot downgrade. Now, I am on 4.1. Apple does not sign 4.1 SHSH or firmware anymore so not, I cannot get the SHSH for that file so I'm gonna have to go to 4.2.1 and I'll click save and it just takes a second to download and it'll be in your device see there you go and we can go to manage SHSH and there it is so we could just click send and it'll send to yourself I do not have an email account set up right now on the device but go ahead and send your SHSH file to your email and put it on your desktop and that's it guys from your device so I'll be right back alright so now we're on the computer and before we get started guys I want you to install tiny umbrella there will be a website link in the description and download it and install it now this program is a really great program it allows you to save your SHSH files as well but it doesn't require a jailbreak like I SHSH it does and it's a really great program so to save your SHSH you just connect your device and press that and this does it automatically but ISHSH actually allows you to back up your SH files on your email in case you maybe lose your backup or your hard drive crashes or whatever happens you have your SHSH file on your email now just save your SHSH files to your desktop and if you haven't saved your SHSH files using Tiny Umbrella then once you've installed it it'll make a folder in my computer local disk users your username and it'll make a folder called .shsh and in here you can drag your shsh file and now you've got it backed up as well as your tiny umbrella backup which you may have so that's a really great thing to have guys again ishsh it free insidia check it out and i encourage everyone to begin saving their shsh files from now on so thanks for watching guys please comment rate and subscribe